Welcome back to another edition of Home Inspection Bites, where we're taking the high road to give you the high ground advantage in your home inspection career. Today we're going to be talking about line and load reversed and how it can affect a GFCI outlet. Line and load reverse at a GFCI receptacle can be a safety hazard for the homeowner. That's why every home inspector needs to know how to recognize it. So let's walk through a quick little demonstration here and I'll show you exactly what happens when a GFCI is wired line load reversed. When line and load are reversed at a newer GFCI outlet, the behavior is pretty simple. You'll be able to trip the GFCI, but it won't reset. With older GFCIs, the outlet will trip, but the outlet remains live. While the test and the symptoms aren't conclusive, for a home inspector they don't need to be. We don't need to take the outlet apart to verify proper line and load, as taking an outlet apart is dangerous and exposes us to a great deal of liability. Simply describe how the outlet won't reset or that it's still live after tripping and recommend an electrician to repair it. So, line load reverse at a GFCI receptacle gives the client a false sense of safety. It should always be reported and home inspectors don't need to, nor should we, be taking the outlets apart to verify how they're wired. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you're seeing on our website, hit like and subscribe on our YouTube channel to stay up to date on important new videos.